Imagine you are a postal worker and you have to deliver letters to people every day. You have a lot of letters to deliver and you need to make sure that every letter gets delivered to the right person at the right time. Now imagine instead of letters, you have thousands of emails in your inbox and you need to make sure that each email gets processed and sent to the right place. That's a lot of work, isn't it? Well, that's where Amazon SQS comes in. SQS stands for Simple Queue Service. It's a message queue service that enables decoupling of components of a cloud application, which means it can handle the messages or emails in a way that ensures each one is processed and delivered to the right place without any data loss or duplication. Imagine a busy road with lots of cars. If every car is trying to go to the same destination, it will cause a traffic jam, right? That's where SQS comes in to regulate the flow of messages, like a traffic controller. It ensures that every message gets processed and delivered in an efficient manner without any bottleneck. Now let's talk about SQS FIFO. FIFO stands for first in first out. It's a messaging system that ensures that the order in which messages are sent and received is preserved. This is particularly useful in situations where you need to maintain strict ordering of events, like a queue of people waiting in line to buy tickets for a concert. If you use batching, FIFO queues support up to 3,000 calls per second per API method. The 3,000 calls per second represent 300 API calls, each with a batch of 10 messages. So, in summary, Amazon SQS is a simple, scalable, and reliable messaging service that helps you decouple components of your application. It ensures that every message is processed and delivered in an efficient manner. And SQS FIFO ensures strict ordering of messages, which is particularly useful in situations where ordering is critical. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.